rid of that. So periodic functions. Here's the definition. A function that repeats a pattern or a cycle at regular intervals. Both things are important. It needs to repeat a pattern or a cycle at regular intervals. So a pattern or a cycle mean the same thing and they can be used interchangeable and it needs to occur at regular intervals. Period. That's going to be defined as the horizontal distance from the beginning of one cycle to the end of the cycle. So it's the horizontal distance from the beginning of a cycle to the end of the cycle. Amplitude, by definition, is half the distance between the maximum and the minimum value. So here's a diagram. This is a periodic function. It repeats itself over and over and over again. This is the function. And you'll see that we would expect this to keep going and going and going. Now, there's all sorts of different places that you can start measuring the cycle from. This pattern could start anywhere we wanted it to and then end at the appropriate place before it begins itself again. So here's one place where a pattern could start. That little funny looking W that's rounded here, but not rounded here, has a sharp point here. This little funny looking W, if I was to pick it up and move it over and put it down again, you'd notice that it lies right on top of that curve again. And if I was to pick it up and move it the other way and lie it down, it lies right on top of that curve again. This would be considered one cycle because it's the part that if I cut it out, it repeats over and over again. I didn't have to start there. I could have started here. Come down, up, down, up. That funny looking W would have then been a cycle and that would have been fine. I could have cut it out and placed it all the way down. It doesn't matter where we start our cycle. This length is going to be the period from this 16 up to, let's see, this is 16, 12, 8. So this would be what, 6? And that's 16, so this period, this distance, is going to be 10 units. It has a period of 10 units. This is one complete cycle. Its maximum value is the highest value it hits. So its maximum value in this case is 4. Its minimum value in this case is negative 4. Its amplitude is given by... Amplitude is given by the max. Minus the min divided by 2. So it's going to be 4 minus negative 4 over 2 equals 4 units. The amplitude is going to be half the distance between the max and the min. And that's how we come up with this. Okay, so let's look at some examples. Determine whether or not each function is periodic. So that's the first question. Is it going to be periodic? Second, if it is periodic, then determine the period, the amplitude, and here's something left over from last unit, or two units ago, domain and range. So we're going to have to talk about that as well. All right, so look at this function. This is what it looks like. Do you think that it repeats over and over again? Yes. yes. And what is the smallest part that I could think about in terms of having a piece that I could cut out and place down and place down and place down? Would you think it could be this? Yeah. yeah. So that piece gets repeated over and over and over. So this is periodic.
Let's compare that to the one beside it. Do you think this is periodic? No, it's not periodic. So if it's not periodic, it's not going to have an amplitude. And if it's not periodic, it's not going to have a period. So, and domain and range, I don't really care for this sheet. In fact, I'm not going to find the domain and range for any of them right now. Um, let's just leave that off. Let's take a look at here. Periodic, so it does have an amplitude. And it does have a period. The period is going to be the length of one complete cycle. So let's see. That looks to be about negative 1. That would be 1. That would be 2. That would be 3. So the period is negative 1 here all the way up to 3 there. So that's going to be 4 units. That's how long it takes to do one complete wavelength. Are we good with that? Okay, the amplitude. You take a max, you subtract the min, and you divide by 2. So the maximum value here seems to be 3. The minimum seems to be negative 1. So that's 3 plus 1, which is 4, divided by 2. So it's 2. The amplitude is 2 for this one. And again, I'm not going to do domain and range simply because I want to talk mainly about periodic functions right now, not domain and range. So let's take all of that idea and now look at this one. Do you think it's periodic? Yes. I agree. So now it's up to us to find where we want to do the pattern from. I personally think this is a good place to do the pattern from. What do you guys think? I think that's a good pattern. And if I was to cut it, it would repeat itself over and over again, wouldn't it? Notice I could have taken the pattern from here and go all the way up to there. That would have been fine too, right? That would have been no problem. So this is periodic. So this looks to be about negative 2.5. This looks to be about 0.5. So its period is the distance between those two. So that's about 3.0 units. So its period equals 3 units. Its amplitude, well, you take its max, you subtract its min, and you divide by 2. Its maximum, that's 1. We would consider that about 1.5, perhaps. And down here, I would consider this about negative 1.5. So it's going to be 1.5 subtract negative 1.5 over 2, which is 3 over 2, so it's 1.5 units. I'm going to stop the video here.